McGee, this is Sammy. And this is Alana. There are some fun October National Days coming up. Well, Smile Day is on the 2nd. Make sure to share a smile with a friend or maybe even a stranger. There's also October 4th, which is National Golf Lovers Day. If you golf, the 4th would be a great day to get out there. Another national holiday is on the 5th, which is World Teachers Day. Thank you, teachers, for helping us learn. October 9th is Fire Prevention Day. The 9th would be a great day to double-check that the fire alarms in your house have new batteries. This is Alana. And this is Sammy. Hi, everyone. This is Sydney. Here are a few things happening at McGee. First, there is a pie phone razor for the PTO going on right now. Orders are due on October 3rd, so be sure to get your order in from Lime and Orchard. The order form is on our website. On September 21st, we had a McGee Spirit Day called Start With Hello Day. We wore green to promote social inclusion within our school community. Hi guys, this is Yasmin. The first upbeat drop-in for 6th grade will be tonight, September 30th. Hope to see you there and have fun. Also, October 10th and 11th, we have no school for Columbus Day and a Teacher Professional Development Day. Enjoy your days off. Oh, it's raining outside. Hello, my name is Ben, and I am the pro weatherman for McGee TV. There has been active weather ongoing this September across our state. There has been humid days, beautiful days, rainy days, cold days, severe weather days, and very hot days. The average temperature this past month was 65.5 degrees. One of the most interesting days so far is actually the day we're filming, September 22nd, because of the loud thunder and lightning. I look forward to updating you about the weather in the upcoming weeks. Hi, I'm Brianna, and today we're gonna to be interviewing the new lead teacher, Mrs. Frobe. Why did you choose to work at McGee? It's a great question, Brianna. So for 13 years, I was a social studies teacher, and slowly I started taking on more and more responsibilities at the schools where I used to teach. And I decided that that was something I wanted to explore more and develop new skills. And so when I was looking for new jobs, McGee posted the listing for lead teacher and a lot of how they described the job was what I wanted to work on professionally. So I applied and here I am. How do you like McGee so far? So far McGee's been great. The students have been awesome. All the teachers have been really helpful. Mr. Urso and Mr. Cheverini have been really helpful kind of teaching me the ropes. Um, I've gotten to know a lot of students and their families, and so far it's been really welcoming. What do you like to do in your free time? It's a great question. I have a three-year-old and a five-year-old, so I really do whatever they want to do with my free time, which usually involves playgrounds or going to farms around the area. Um, but if I had my own time to myself, I really enjoy reading, and I like, I say I like to go hiking. I really like just walking outside in nature. Hi everyone, my name is Clara. And I'm Gunner. It's time for our fall sports update. Let's start with boys soccer. The boys soccer teams are off to a great start this season. Both the varsity and JV teams currently have a 3-1 and one record. In their last game, the varsity team took on the Cromwell Middle School Falcons. Goals were made by 8th graders Alex M, Ryan S, and Sebby K. McGee controlled from start to finish with 27 shots on net. The varsity team will play tonight, September 30th, at Percival versus Beeman. In the last JV boys soccer game, the team earned a 2-0 win over Carmel. 7th grader Pat S. is on the net, along with 7th grader Matt V. Oliver O., also in 7th grade, earned the shutout in net. Hi, this is Jenna. And this is Isabella, with an update about girls soccer. The McGee girls soccer team has been working hard as well. The varsity team's record is currently 1-1-1 in their win against Ram Middle School. The girls' score was 2-1. to one. Eighth grader Natalie C. and Shay C. scored goals for the team. The JV girls' soccer team is currently 1-3. In their win against Johnson Middle School, the girls dominated with a final score of 13-5. to five. Sixth graders Chloe K., Lainey P., and Mia S., along with seventh graders Anya W., Juliana M., Hayden M., and Ava S., all scored for the Spartans. The girls' next game is today at McGee against Beeman. Can't wait to see how the rest of the season goes for our McGee teams. Hi, guys. Now it's time for the joke of the day. What do you call a bear with no teeth? 
A gummy bear. No.